Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Dummy Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Dummy Questions 2022. I'm your host Kushal Mehta and let's get started. Question 1. You are building an application using a virtual machine in Azure. As a security requirement, it is necessary to apply Azure multi-factor authentication based on certain conditions. Which Azure service should you choose? And the options are Option 1. Azure Monitor Option 2. Azure Security Center Option 3. Azure Active Directory ID Protection Option 4. Azure Advanced Threat Protection And the answer is Option 3. Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. This is because Azure Active Directory ID protection allows you to apply MFA with conditions. It is also used to detect risks such as anonymous IP address logins, unfamiliar sign-ins and credential leaks. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure Monitor is incorrect because this is for collecting what is known as application monitoring data data about the performance and functionality of the code you write, regardless of platform. Option 2 is incorrect. Azure Security Center is an integrated infrastructure security management system that enhances the security structure of data center. It's an advanced threat protection feature that protects your entire hybrid workload, both on the cloud and on-premises. With this option, you can't use MFA. Option 4 is incorrect. Azure ATP is incorrect because it is used to monitor and analyze user activity and information across the network, such as permissions and group membership. Question 2. Fill in the blank. Dash provides a command platform for deploying objects to your cloud infrastructure and maintaining consistency throughout your Azure environment. The options are number one, Azure Policy, number two, Resource Group, number three, Azure Resource Manager, number four, Management Group. And the answer is option three, Explanation. Option three is the correct answer. Azure Resource Manager is a service that provides a management layer that allows you to create, update, and delete Azure resources, all while maintaining consistency across your Azure environment. Option 2 is incorrect. A resource group is a group that manages related resources in an Azure solution. Option 4 is incorrect. A management group is a group for managing multiple subscriptions. Question 3. You are planning to extend your company's network to Azure and create a hybrid cloud configuration. In the on-premises environment, a VPN appliance that has the IP address of 136.168.103.1 is used and it is necessary to identify this on the Azure side. Which is the best solution for this situation? And the options are Number 1. Route Table Number 2. Application Gateway Number 3. Local Network Gateway Number 4. Network Interface and the correct answer is Option 3. Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. The local network gateway can be used to specify the IP address and the VPN device in the virtual network. This allows Azure to identify VPN appliances that use the IP address of 136.168.103.1. Option 1 is incorrect. The routing table is the route information recorded in the router itself. It is the table to be referred to when performing the routing process, but it does not identify the IP address of the VPN appliance. Option 2 is incorrect. Application gateways are used to load balanced traffic to various web applications. It does not identify the IP address of the VPN appliance. Option 4 is incorrect. The network interface allows Azure VMs to communicate with Internet, Azure, and on-premises resources. 
it does not identify the IP address of the VPN appliance. Question 4. Which of the following Azure regions is available to Japanese government agencies? Number 1. Azure Global Number 2. Azure Government Number 3. Azure Local Number 4. Azure Japan And the answer is Option 1. Option 1 is the correct answer. The Azure region available to Japanese government agencies is Azure Global. Azure Global is a publicly available region that the average user will use. There is no region dedicated to Japanese government agencies. So Azure Global should be used in this case. Option 2 is incorrect. Azure Government is a mission critical cloud that delivers breakthrough innovations to US government customers and their partners. Only the US federal government, state governments, local governments, tribal governments and their partners have access to this dedicated instance and operations are managed by the selected US citizens. Option 3 is incorrect. There is no region called Azure Local. Option 4 is incorrect. There is no region called Azure Japan. There are Azure China and Azure Germany. Question 5. There is an Azure virtual network named VNETA in a resource group named My Resource Group. VNETA dash. When you assign an Azure policy that says that My Resource Group is not allowed to create or update virtual networks. And the options are number one is automatically deleted, number two is automatically moved to another resource group, number three will continue to function normally, and number four becomes a read only object. And the answer is option three. Explanation Option three is the correct answer. Azure policies do not affect the pre-apply configuration. Therefore, VNet A works fine because it was already created before the Azure policy was created. However, my resource group does not allow you to create any more VNETs. Question 6. Your company wants to use a serverless application to automate the data registration process. Which Azure service should you use? And the options are number 1. Azure App Service Number 2. Azure Functions Number 3. Azure DevOps Number 4. Azure Monitor And the answer is Option 2 Explanation Option 2 is the correct answer. Azure Functions is an event-driven serverless computing platform that can solve complex orchestration problems. You can use this to develop serverless applications. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure App Service is a fully managed development platform for building, deploying, and scaling web apps. Option 3 is incorrect. Azure DevOps is a development and operation service that enables smarter planning and DevOps working using the latest set of development services. Option 4 is incorrect. Azure Monitor is a monitoring service for applications infrastructures and networks on Azure. Question 7. You want to deploy multiple web servers and multiple database servers in Azure. As a security measure, you need to limit the connection to the database server to be only from web server. Which solution should you use for this? Number 1. Azure Service Bus. Number 2. Azure DDoS Protection. Number 3. Route Filter. Number 4. Network Security Group and the answer is Option 4. Explanation Option 4 is the correct answer. You can use Azure Network Security Groups to filter network traffic to and from Azure resources in your Azure Virtual Network. Network Security Groups contain security rules that allow or deny inbound or outbound network traffic to many types of Azure resources. You can specify the source, destination, port, and the protocol for each rule. Option 1 is incorrect. Microsoft Azure Service Bus is a fully managed enterprise integration message broker with message queues and publish or subscribe topics. Option 2 is incorrect. DDoS protection is a service that
that provides constant monitoring and automatic network attack mitigation. It protects your Azure resources from distributed denial of service attacks. Option 3 is incorrect. Route filtering is a way to take advantage of a subset of the services support through Microsoft Peering. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium AZ bundle with 90% off. Check link in the description.